My name is Coach Christine. My name is Coach Lex. And we will show you um, balancing Superwoman on legs or on hands. It's on this. Now we're showing you a superwoman on hands, <laughs> legs, hands. <laughs> and the only thing what I'm doing, I'm squeezing my legs into legs, hips to really get really tight. And then his arms are coming up. He's getting my hips. And now I'm just leaning forward, still pressing his hips and my legs to get as soon as he has the balance, I just straighten my legs to Superwoman. And then he's really stiff. And now he gets his feet under. And then flying up high. Ta da! When we do this move, uh, Coach Christine creates a pivot point right here when she pins me. So this now becomes the hinge, and from this hinge, it's going to go to this hinge right here. So you're just going to transfer your pivot points. This helps keep the coach in control, my coach in, uh, of the movement coming down versus just being in a straddle position, standing on top of me. It's really important you pin because it helps keep the moving control from the flyer's perspective. Otherwise, you're supposed to be going to fall. Okay, when you first start doing this move, all right, you want to go up and meet the um, the um, the flyers uh, by the hips because it'll be a lot easier for you to slower slowly lower yourself into the move. As you get better, um, you can just stay on the floor and just keep your hands up. But again, that's going to be you know it depends on how tall the flyer is and how short you are. So ultimately. This is going to work out best for most people, okay? Now, my coach can't be too far forward, right? So we'll show you what happens when you come too far. Come too far forward, coach, right? See this right here? Now, I have no time to compensate to slow the move down. By the time my coach gets into position from Superwoman, if she was this far close, my arms will be right here, and she'll just fall forward. So my coach has to be further back. And what happens, right, is um, this is going to be in relationship to how tall you are as a flyer and how short your arms are as a base. So you have to figure this out. But just pay attention to not starting too far up, right? I go up, I squeeze my stomach muscles because I'm going to contract myself as my coach goes forward. My fingers are wide so I can push forward with my fingertips. And there we go. Here I am. Okay? So I'm using my fingertips to make sure that my coach doesn't tip forward that way so I can push her back. 
um, talk about it if it's dis if you experience any discomfort because the hands are a little odd at first. As I bring my feet up, right, I'm gonna slowly replace my hands. Right? I keep my hands here to help stabilize myself and my feet are my heels are in, my toes are out. So I go up, I keep my hands up just to make sure my coach is safe, and I feel like the balance is fine, I can lower my hands. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, coach. 